As the title of the video suggests, I'm going to show you guys and gals how to pin up and make a quick set deadbolt. Uh, it's not pick proof, but once it is picked, I'm going to show you this is as far as someone's going to get. All right. There's only two pins in there right now, which are the ones that will seize the core. This will work perfectly with the key, but if someone tries to covertly enter into your home, pick your door lock, you'll definitely know it, because when you get back home, your core will be seized up, and I hope you do have a second way of entry. That's the only downside to doing this. So, just keep that in mind. Number three... Uh, key pin and number three uh, top pin number five key pin number five top pin both of those five uh, five and three your three and five are both what's called T pins and I'll show you what's going to happen now once they try to rotate the core and turn your deadbolt you hear that little audible click so now nothing whatsoever will turn this core and I hope that's given a good demonstration of how much tension I'm putting on that I could bend that all day long in either direction and it will not turn uh, I don't have anything really stronger to put in here you just have to take my word for it it's not going anywhere so I'm going to pause it real quick and take out the two pins that has caused this to happen so that's as far as they'll get on a side note i just thought of something might want to show you how to get this undone if you do this and it occurs that someone tried to pick your door lock so if you had a secondary entry into your home then you could take your deadbolt off which by the way it would still work from the inside uh, from your thumb turn that will still be able to unlock your bolt so you would just unscrew both of those screws pull the thumb turn off pull this out of the housing and get something to get underneath this retainer and pop your retainer off by the way this retains springs that are under pressure and the two springs that I've got in there that's under pressure right now are quite strong springs and I put those in there to be sure that this traps it up quite well. I popped these off a thousand times and now I can't get it to come off. Promise you I will though. There we go. Alright, so. Now that that's off and a spring just went flying. Even with the springs out, I highly doubt it's going to turn. No, it's still seized. But, take those two bad boys out, and now your core spins again. So, what are these? Well, they're known as T pins. Uh, both of these I made with a Dremel. with regular driver pins. I have a regular driver pin right here. That was the red one. They're two different sizes. These are a hundred and eighty thousandths of an inch. I believe the purple ones are a hundred and forty thousandths of an inch. But all you gotta do to machine these is have access to a rotary tool such as a Dremel. It doesn't have to be a Dremel. It could be a knockoff from, uh, say, Harbor Freight. Uh, I think they sell them for $10 there. But what you do to produce these is 
get you a file, just a plain file like that. And then here's the weird part that you probably never thought of is you actually take your driver pin that you're wanting to machine. Tighten that up a bit because that is not going to hold it. But you'll place that down inside here as such. And actually, you might want to pull it out just a tad bit. That's what she said. Anyways, that way you got a little bit of room of error to work with. Go ahead and grab your uh, wrench to your Dremel real quick. Tighten it down. And I'm not fixing to get brass all over my little workspace, but just for demonstration purposes. Fire your Dremel up. Take your file and start slowly letting brass come off of it. I'll give it a touch and just enough to get the red uh, off of it. And what you want to do is you want to machine it down enough to where you've got it thin like that. Another thing that has to be done, it's it's uh, two, pretty much a two-step process, is you need to create two trap holes anywhere that you of your choosing. It doesn't matter if it's in the first after the first chamber, uh, or like I done number five and number three, and I done that uh, because. In pin chamber one, two, and four, I'm running one, two, yeah, I'm running three other security pins, um, which are serrated, uh, and one spool pin, which is also known, all three of those are known as anti pick pins. They don't stop someone, but it definitely will slow them down. And just those T pins by themselves uh, are difficult to pick to start with, even if the rest of this was standard. But that's what you do is uh, most of these uh, bolts, depending on how it's been installed, is going to unlock to the right. Yep, and that says, of course, up. So, anyhow, I've not personally done this uh, to my house yet, but I am going to. And here's another thing. Just in case your door's opposite and things are, you know, installed differently, if those two pre-drilled holes, or not pre-drilled, but those two holes that I drilled didn't stop the bolt from rotating, the factory construction holes certainly will. They are plenty deep. For those T pins to lock up inside of them as such. Alright, that's all I've got to think of right now. Uh, I don't think there needs to be a part two to this. Just to rephrase on what needs to be done is get your core out and a very, very small drill bit and pick. Two, you need at least two of these in there. Otherwise, someone could jab a, a flathead in there. And if they had enough turning force, they possibly could break the brass. So, at least two. You could go with three and then run two spool anti-pick pins in the other chambers. But I feel two is sufficient. Certainly. All right, I hope that helps somebody. 
Uh, this is also a good way to screw your friend over if you're pinning them a challenge lockup if they're into lock sport because they won't be able to get it unlocked completely. They'll get it picked, but uh, they won't get the core to turn past 10 degrees. So I appreciate it if you watch this far. Uh, leave a comment if there's something else you want to learn. This was just something I thought of off the top of my head to add some content. But thanks for watching.